Hello everyone, this is Ferdian. Uh, this is my website. Uh, this is one of my project. It's called CIDM3312 project. And I have a login here. I have register here. I have advertising column here. And I have the home products. I click products. And for example, if you want to buy something like uh, maybe felt or maybe wheel. Uh, search oh it show uh this product brand castellix price three hundred twenty four dollars and if you want to add to charge it's gonna uh say access denied because you have to log in or register to uh to use our website or to buy the the products so if you this is the shipping bag that's uh, also access denied it uh I'm using the session management to handle this. Okay, contact us. Okay, I have logged here and I have already had existing user Scott Romeo. I'm gonna go ahead uh, type Romeo credential here. And for example, Romeo want uh, want to buy a product. It said, "Welcome back, Romeo." So uh, start shopping. If Romeo want to uh, see his uh, shopping bag. Oh, there's a uh, uh, existing item here that Romeo uh, login before. Maybe uh, he want to delete this item. Yes, uh, or delete this item. Okay, maybe he want to uh, buy a product. Wheel. Okay, it says. Uh, Total price 350, including taxes, and maybe Romeo want to see the account. And this is his account is uh, a picture. If he want to edit the information, uh, choose the image or change the picture. It's gonna browse. Uh, let's see, maybe instant. Okay, it's gonna change. Uh, update it. Oops, this is change password. Okay. Please type current password. Okay, this is separate uh, case. Is change your information, change password, because Romeo want to change the picture. Romeo uh, uh, have to hit this update instead of this update. Okay, get change. Uh, let's see if Romeo want to uh, back to uh, sh uh, maybe want to buy the car seat. Uh, and then if he want to review before checkout, it say that this is the uh, review your chart. The shipment is free. It will take seven days, and uh, he can still uh, buy another product by clicking this stuff, uh, this icon. Uh, this is total price, or maybe he want to check out. Okay, uh, it say the shipping address. Romeo can change it. Or uh, this is there's a credit card number. If you type a wrong credit card number, it's gonna say card serial number is invalid. Uh, but uh, if he type the correct one, it's gonna press it to check out. But for this uh, sh show, I don't wanna uh, give the credit card number. It's kind of privacy. Uh, okay, or maybe uh, we can log out, or we can. Uh, click this advertising column is uh, direct to the product okay log out and that was the customer session uh, Romeo was uh, a customer now I'm gonna say login as Randy that Randy is the owner of the this company or the administrator of this website it's uh, the the site will be uh, look different. Uh, this is the administrator side. Uh, we have category here, insert category or edit category update. There's a product here that uh, look different from the uh, customer. Okay, there's insert master product here by uh, choose the category. All of the category here uh, came from the this one. Okay, uh, category. If uh, we want to say insert the master category, maybe DVD, 
the product number will be set automatically and there's a paging here and if I want to change the the data as let's see uh, maybe CS1 go to later I want to maybe change the minimum stock level I just type uh, CS1 maybe it's say uh, minimum stock level 3 maybe I want to it uh, change to be 4 that is changed to be 4 and supplier this is a supplier data insert and edit here and there's a supply this is inventory stock you can choose the product that existing product here pick the supplier and pick the dead supply if we click it it's gonna say dead supply and save and there's a critical inventory here that means below minimum stock level this is minimum stock level and total quantity in stock is 2 uh, we already uh, had the qu quantity supply 15 quantity sold 13 so 15 uh, subtract by 13 is uh, 2 okay uh, we're doing math here and there's a user link here uh, see uh, we have all of the user here and roles for example administrator and we have Romeo hits authenticated authenticated mean is customer so if uh, for example if Romeo want to uh, uh, for example if Romeo apply uh, to our company and then Romeo want to manage this site we already know that Romeo was the customer or authenticated user maybe uh, we want to give the uh, roles change the roles uh, Romeo to be administrator so he can uh, maintain our site because we already hired him uh, to our company I'm gonna say Romeo Romeo.com I'm gonna search and it say uh, roles authenticated and we, we want to change to be administrator this is Romeo authenticated user we save it now Romeo is administrator so uh, if I log out and then you already seen that Romeo was administrator now it's gonna looks like a uh, Randy login because this is administrator site so Romeo now is administrator uh, I'm using the session management for that so uh, if we log out again uh, to change uh, Romeo back to a uh, customer or authenticated user I'm going to log in as the Randy and I'm going to change the role for Romeo to be the authenticated user I save it and I log out if Romeo login again it say uh, this is the customer side okay uh, I'm gonna sh show you another thing in administrator side there's a report here uh, it said the income per product sold uh, uh, I have CS1 product, product brand, groovy letter, quantity sold 6, total income 1799.88 cen uh, cents and there is a Excel PDF word that uh, we can export the data so the finance or accounting people uh, can uh, do whatever uh, they want to create the report uh, and then also this is uh, we can export to PDF we also can export to Word and I'm gonna log out yeah uh, this is the website and I did uh, some uh, encryption here for the password and for the credit card number so if uh, I open the database this is the select uh, the uh, star from users this is the user data and this is the roles or status administrator authenticated user and this is the password I encrypted 
and I also encrypted their pay card numbers but this is blank okay uh, and let's see uh, go to the code uh, I'm using the master page uh, it's called a uh, card template uh, using Visual Studio 2010 and this is my uh, master page I will see the design this is gonna be like this and go back to source and I'm using the custom control here it's called advertising that uh, appear for this one this is the advertising column I'm using the ISCX uh, custom control if I open design it's gonna look like this uh, I'm using the script manager or ajax uh, here okay this is the code uh, Uh, this is the image for the this is the product image that uh, all of stuff is here and this is the user images we have the Romeo and instance uh, yeah this is the code and thank you very much for watching